Hi everyone, I'm Bruce Schwartz. Thanks so much for viewing my channel, for supporting this channel, for supporting my efforts, guys, and trying to show the world what is out there. Well, in reality, I'm just trying to share my footage for free. That's all I'm trying to do. Just so happens I found some structures on the moon. <laughs> this is with the P900. No, fear not. We have telescope footage here. A couple more seconds. Just wanted you to see the moon at four o'clock this afternoon. Um, on the 24th, that is, of uh, May 2018 at four o'clock p.m. Uh, here's turned around, Clavius Crater there, uh, and the edge. And that's what we're going to go look at tonight with the 14-inch CGXL 1400 HD telescope. Welcome, everyone. I have a community member um, that was telling me about my um, problem with the small screen because of course all I see is the DSLR for now of course one thing at a time right well I was able to um, find the wire but then it wasn't the wire uh, I'm talking about the HDMI wire that will be able to leave my Nikon D3400 and to go to a larger HDMI wire all this is one wire, but of course I'm not able to order it in town, it seems, so I'm still looking for it. But yeah, it'll be um, a lot better viewing the moon, of course, with my 48-inch. Uh, yeah.
a lot better, that's for sure. Here is Copernicus, give you an idea of where we are. Um, the moon reversed upside down, so we're looking at the bottom of the moon right now, which is actually the upside up, uh, of the moon. You know, when the astronauts go with their um, spaceship, okay, supposedly, <laughs> and they go towards the moon, uh, they do have to reverse, so they turn themselves around. So you're going up towards the moon, and uh, I think it was the Canadian astronaut said it, um, not a fan, so I don't talk about him. I think it's Hathaway, but anyways, zooming in, okay, um, to the moon here upside down, well, this is how they would approach the moon from this angle. Look what we have here at the back of Flavius Crater. The pipe goes all the way up to here, and when I say pipe, now we're talking about a, a straw object. Okay, it looks like a straw. We're going to say pipe or tunnel for sure. But if we zoom in, it could be even a building. It could be a path. It could be a road. Um, um, you know, electricity, whatever. But again, it looks constructed. And I love this area. And to the left, top left there, a lot of structuring going on. Pause it. Take a look at the edge. When your eyes adjust to it, it's just amazing. So for those who have just arrived, first of all, welcome, <laughs> thank you. Um, but what I do is I get moon footage. Hey, look at the reddish, I'm cutting you off, I'm myself off here, sorry. The reddish hue kept appearing in this area, just around Mare Serenitatis. And this is funny that uh, in color, of course, we're gonna see other colors. And I guess it goes into the group of transient lunar phenomenons, I suppose, that Aurora Borealis like um, gas color like um, you know emissions on the surface we could see color in certain areas not talked about enough because we can see it a lot guys the newcomers getting back to what I wanted to say I'm sorry welcome and thank you and um, after all this footage I got a lot of great snapshots in it uh, that looked like a lot of atmosphere on the surface this is what I do I go through the process I slow it down I look for UFOs um, it's a tedious process, but very rewarding. And each video, each day, every time I get a little bit of information, no matter how small it is, I do post it in a video. It's free information. You know, some will say, oh, okay, you posted that yesterday or you already talked about that. Just enjoy what I'm posting. And of course, I take suggestions and I leave some, you know. Um, we're all different. You know, I'm trying to focus on the activity that's on the surface. And so many bloody structures up there, it's just absolutely incredible and uh, of course throughout the year we'll be seeing it and hopefully uh four weeks now guys i am going to be off and doing this um if it's possible even more full-time meaning i'll have chances to stay up late at night and uh, to see the ufos confirmed i see them okay last night i saw at least three ufos okay meaning bright orbs uh, crossing the light um Yes, they look like satellites. They actually look like they're just literally just a straight satellite, no direction. I honestly find that those UFOs, whatever they were, just looked like straight through, you know, no movement, but just a straight path. But whatever they are, I'm seeing them. It's true. It's really real. And I'm going to get them this summer and get them very well for sure. And this is what I'll be concentrating on. Mm -hmm.